Hey you guys, it's Miss T Lovely and I had to come back because I had to do a response to my mama, to Mama Rose. Um, I am sitting here, I didn't even get through the whole video, I have to be honest with you, watching the video and I kind of started to write a comment. And um, as you guys can see, oh mama, I got on my uh, pajamas too and I have on Tweety. I love Tweety. Let me see if I can let you guys see a little. Let's see. Hey. So that's my pajamas. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not gonna start it over because I'm like I don't know if they. Yeah, when I'm in my pajamas, I'm in my pajamas. If you know what I mean. Anyhow, um, that's as real as it gets. Um, anyhow, I'm watching your your video. Um, well, a person has asked, do you, did you ever get discouraged? And I couldn't help but have thoughts run through my head as I watched this video. And, and of course, something was like response. And earlier on today, I have to be honest, when I went to make my uh, update video, something said, don't get undressed. You're going to have to make another response. I mean, make another video. And I was like, it's so like, what can I possibly be making a video about today? And I saw my mama's video and I'm like, oh my gosh. And you know what I mean, mama, because... You know how God works. Anyhow, um, sorry that was such a long intro, right? Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys and be very candid and very transparent with you all because you're my family. And sorry if it, it looks like I'm not looking into the, I know it's so random, but sorry, it, look, it looks like I haven't been looking straight into the camera because of the laptop or the way it's positioned. So forgive me if I kind of look like I'm looking around or whatever. But anyway, um, moving on. Um... Do you ever get discouraged? Or did I ever get discouraged rather because I had surgery? Of course I didn't have the RMY um, or um, anything like that. I had the lap band surgery, the realized band. Um, but in answer to your question, whoever this person may be, yes. Um, I did mention it in my videos way back when. But what I did mention, I didn't go into detail about was when I was first telling my husband about it. He wasn't receptive. And before I get into it, let me just say this. Most times when we tell people who we love and we care, that care for us, they're not gonna be as receptive. They're not gonna, and some of them may not be receptive at all. Some may come around, now my husband came around. So they, they go into protect it, protection mode. You know, uh-uh, no, I don't want you to die. Uh-uh, no, I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to leave here. Um, no, you can't do this. That's just too out there. That's too crazy. You know, I just did a um a video about weight loss surgery stigmatization. You know, people have a fear of the unknown. You know, they're scared of what they don't know. And um that was my husband's case, you know, and I remember that he we had sat down and he told me, you know, I really researched this. And I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. He said, I really researched this and um he was like all you are is a smaller version of yourself when you do it. So basically, you'll, you'll lose all the weight, but you have all this loose skin, you this and this and that. And, you know, there's a lot of misconstrued information out there on the net. You can't go by what you see all the time. This is why I am thankful for this community because we've knocked all those uh, stigmatizations and assertions out of the water here. We've knocked them all out of the water. You have perfect examples here, and that's with the... Um, communication we have through YouTube and through the um, the unity here in, in the community. So there's your um, proof right there. But um, the one person whose opinion meant the most to me didn't support me. And I know this is the same for you, whomever this person may be. And just know it's because they love you. No, know it's because he loves you, your husband loves you, and he cares for you. Doesn't make it right and it doesn't make it any easier on your end. I know it for a fact because I cried many nights. I stayed up many nights worried and hurting and, and, and trying to decide what I should do because at the end of the beginning of the day, as much as we love our significant others, this is our life first. We came in here bare, naked with nothing before we met anyone. So, you know, besides mommy. So we can't base our decisions solely upon, yes, we have to consider them. 
because it is it can be dangerous if you're put in the wrong hands but how about you how about what you want how about the tears you cry how about the pain you feel the rid the ridicule and the stigmatization um the things that are pointed at you the little kids who point at you and say mommy she's fat the 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 people who make fun of you the people who count you out the people who separate you in society because of your size how about that how about the pain you feel how about your back and your legs and your joints hurting how about Have you considered all those things? Because if, God forbid, and I was faced with this, he says one day, bye-bye, what do you have? Do you have your health and ability to be able to get up and take care of self? Or are you stuck looking at your life? Oh my gosh, I've given up my life. I haven't lived. I said it in my last video, uh, my inspiration. I had given up on so much. And so many people around me were like, you know, you have so much great ability. You could be so many things. You could do this and that. Da, da, da. And here I was, I was going full force, but it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. So it comes down to this decision for yourself. Don't let somebody discourage you from doing if your heart is saying what you need. You know, to be honest with you guys, I should have had this surgery five years ago. Five years ago. Sometimes God will give, he'll give very subtle hints about what you need. And you'll just, you'll look past them. You know, you'd be like, okay, that couldn't be God. I had friends, friends telling me, um, you know, girl, I'm thinking about the lab band. They didn't have nothing but 50, 60 pounds to lose. One guy that was in the gym every day hitting it hard, couldn't lose a pound. He said, why don't you just do that? And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, I'm not, it's not to that point. Yes, it was. 378. And it was to that point where I looked up and I'm like, my mom, just like you, I'm just like, how did I get here? Who is that girl? Who is that? Who does that face belong to? Because it certainly isn't mine. I was the girl who liked to took pic you know, take pictures. And I say for the past uh, Five years up until now, I recently started taking pictures that y'all can see. Y'all, people on my Facebook, you know. I don't have pictures of myself because I was so ashamed. So anyway, this video was long enough, and I hope I was of some type of help. And I just wanted to come on and share with God, whatever God gave me. And you know, Mama, your stories are this not not even stories. The occurrences that, the occurrence of your, uh, uh, the occurrences, come on, <laughs> the occurrences of your life have true value and true meaning, and we are blessed by you in this community. So you, you don't need to explain why you have on a gown, because I'm not going to explain why I don't have any makeup on and I'm taking out my contacts and, and I got on my pajamas. Huh, I'm not going to explain it. And it's worthwhile, and people who who need some zest and some zeal and some, uh, at times we may need, if we need humility or we, we need to be reminded, it's people like you that we need to watch. You know, I, I have my, I, peop, I, I try to watch everybody's videos, you know, um, and I've been missing some, so if I miss anybody's videos, please inbox me, but, um, everybody needs a little mama in their life. <laughs> Ooh. So and I, want, I know I'm at the end. I know this was a response video, but I also wanted to thank Quilting Connie B. Connie, while I'm on, thank you for what you said to me. Um, your words mean the world. Sometimes we need confirmation that um, 
what's coming out of our mouth is of some value. So now I love you guys and to this person, be encouraged and make the decision for you. Don't let anybody discourage you. Yes, it's going to happen, but you hold the key. You make the ultimate decision. All right. I love you all. I'll talk to you later.